List Common Multiple or LCM Using Continuous Division Hi there students! Welcome back to my classroom. For today's lesson, you are going to learn how to find the common multiples and LCM of 2 to 4 numbers using continuous division. Let's start! The school canteen serves soups every 5 school days and sandwiches every 4 school days. On which days are both dishes served? Assuming the school canteen is open from Monday to Friday. Soups are served every 5 days. And sandwiches are served every 4 days. We can see that both soups and sandwiches are served on the 20th day of school. Did you know that in this case, 20 can be referred to as the least common multiple or LCM of 5 and 4? But do you know what is an LCM? The least common multiple of set of numbers is the smallest non-zero number that is a multiple of all numbers in the set. We can find the LCM by listing all the multiples of the numbers in the set. For our example, the numbers are 5 and 4. So the multiples of 5 are 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, and so on. While the multiples of 4 are 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, and so on. Here, we can see that the least common multiple is 20. Now, another way to find the least common multiple is by using the continuous division method. Now, let's go and use this method. Let's find the LCM of 8, 16, and 24 using continuous division method. The first step is to list the numbers horizontally. Same with finding the greatest common factor, we need to divide them by the prime numbers if possible. Remember, prime numbers are 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, and so on. Now let us start dividing them by the smallest prime number which is 2. 8 divided by 2 is 4. 16 divided by 2 is 8. 24 divided by 2 is 12. Now since all the quotients are even, we can still divide them by 2 again. 4 divided by 2 is 2. 8 divided by 2 is 4. While 12 divided by 2 is 6. Now the quotients are still even numbers, so we can divide them by 2 once more. 2 divided by 2 is 1. 4 divided by 2 is 2. While 6 divided by 2 is 3. At this point, we can no longer divide the numbers by any more prime numbers. Now to find the LCM, let us all multiply the common prime factors and the remaining quotients. For the common prime factors, we have 2 times 2 times 2, which is 8. For the remaining quotients, we have 1 times 2 times 3, which is 6. Now let's multiply these products, 8 times 6, which is 48. Therefore, 48 is the least common multiple of 8, 16, and 24. Now to check, we can use the listing method. Let us list down all the multiples of 8, 16, and 24. For multiples of 8, we have 8, 16, 24, 32, 40, 48, 56, and so on. For multiples of 16, we have 16, 32, 48, 64, 80, 96, and so on. While for the multiples of 24, we have 24, 48, 72, 96, and 120. Now we can see that the least common multiple is indeed 48. Let's have another example. Let us find the LCM of 20, 30, and 40. Again, we will use continuous division method. So for our first step, let us list down the numbers horizontally. Same with finding the greatest common factor, let's divide them by the prime numbers if possible. 
Again, the prime numbers are 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, and so on. Let us start by dividing them by the smallest prime number, which is 2. 20 divided by 2 is 10. 30 divided by 2 is 15, while 40 divided by 2 is 20. You can see here that their last digits are either 0 or 5. According to the divisibility rule, they are divisible by prime number 5. Now let's divide. 10 divided by 5 is 2, 15 divided by 5 is 3, while 20 divided by 5 is 4. At this point, we can no longer divide the prime numbers by any more prime numbers. Now, to find the LCM, we'll multiply the common prime factors and the remaining quotients. For the common prime factors, we have 2 times 5, which is 10. For the remaining quotients, we have 2 times 3 times 4, which is 24. Now, let's multiply these products. That's 10 times 24, which is 240. Therefore, 240 is the least common multiple of 20, 30, and 40. Now, to check, we can use the listing method. The multiples of 20 are For the multiples of 30 And the multiples of 40 Here, we can see that the least common multiple is 240. What a great lesson! Now, here are the things that you learned today.